So do you have a vitamin deficiency and don't even know it? I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but I'm also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s when they don't have access through traditional insurance. So if that's something that you're struggling with, there are some links over here in my bio that hopefully will help you with that. But I also like to use my channel to talk about things related to health and nutrition. So when we talk about vitamin deficiencies, a lot of people think about B12 or vitamin D, but let's talk about a very slept on mineral called zinc. And believe me, if your body is low on it, it will let you know, but sometimes it'll be in some subtle ways. So the signs of zinc deficiency are kind of subtle and they're easy to miss, but they could include getting sick all the time, cuts or scrapes that just won't heal, thinning hair, changes in taste or smell, acne or dry flaky skin, or changes in mood or even anxiety. So you can see how any of that could be really hard to pick apart from other things. So zinc actually supports over 300 enzyme reactions in your body. And your body actually is unable to produce or store zinc, so you actually need it every single day. It helps with immune function, digestion, skin repair, and even balancing out your hormones. So people at risk for zinc deficiency often are people who are vegan, vegetarian, or if you're somebody who skips meals frequently. So what are some solid ways to get zinc into your body? So sources of food are a good place to start. Things like oysters, red meat, poultry, beans, nuts, whole grains, and dairy. But keep in mind that plant-based sources of zinc are a lot harder for our bodies to absorb. So if your zinc's low, then Food-based supplementation is recommended, but supplements can be beneficial in some cases. Just don't overdo it with zinc supplementation. Too much zinc can be dangerous. It can cause GI side effects like nausea, headaches, and it can even block your body's ability to absorb other nutrients like iron. So I don't recommend that just across the board, everybody take zinc, but I do think that if you're having some of these symptoms, that it could be important for you to talk to your provider to see maybe if you need to get your zinc levels checked especially if you fall into one of the high-risk categories of people who don't eat a lot of meat. So just remember that your body's always trying to tell you something. You just have to listen to the signs. So if you like this video, then follow me for more and reshare it, and hopefully it'll get to somebody who needs to hear it.